and Ian Hankinson is with them all. I can always think of um, you know these sort of strike actions, Ian, people gathered around a 44-gallon drum with a fire in it, but uh, that's not the case. Uh, no, we, we do have a small uh, drum with a fire in it, Scott. Oh, you do? Uh, it seems do. to be it's, tradition um, at a strike action. It's, it's pretty cold up here at uh, Somersby in front of the yard, so we do have a little fire going. It's only small, though, Scott. Oh, that's all right. No, well, there you go. Uh, gee whiz, uh, that was in my mind, because whenever you see strike action uh, workers early on in the morning, they're all gathered around a fire. So, uh, and, and as I said, uh, I was talking to you earlier in the morning, it's, it's weird for you, isn't it, not to be out on the road, not to be doing your job, um, but you feel pretty strongly about this issue. Uh, yeah, I do. And, and first of all, look, I'd like to apologise to all the residents. Uh, this is not what we want. Uh, we've been trying to negotiate this for over two and a half years now uh, with Council. We met with Council yesterday. Um, we put a, a, a letter to uh, Mr Reynolds. Um, he was he was not in a position to sign it. Uh, we're hoping that today we'll come back and we'll talk some more and perhaps make some progress on it, Scott. And, and you were part of that um, interview uh, or that that um, meeting, Ian, weren't you? As as a working gubbo, but also a union rep. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So we had uh, two two reps there and uh, a legal person from the TWU uh, and uh, an organiser there. And I must say. Uh, both uh, Mr. Reynolds and Mr. Noble, uh, very likable, very likable blokes. They were, they were very nice. And did you get your case across passionately, I, as you as you have been on air for the last few months with us and uh, anyone who listened, I guess. Yeah, look, I, I, I believe we did. I, I I'm pretty confident they they understand it. Uh, you know, every time the tender comes up. Uh, you know, they pick a, a company and we move across to that company and our pay rates drop. Uh, and we just don't see why our pay rates should drop. I mean, what we've got up here, they're all uh, local uh, residents, local workers uh, with local jobs. And, and to take a, a pay cut, we, we just find that um, unreasonable. Did you take a pay cut at the last contract negotiation? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We took a pay cut, and since then we've we've done you know what the law sets out. We've uh, negotiated uh, was it three EBAs, and we've had uh, pay rises along the way. And that, that, that sort of, of it, one or two I'm percent sure. that every, everyone gets. Um, yeah, yeah, we've had a couple of percents, and and you know you work it up. And look, we're happy with the the current pay rate we're on, and that's what we try to impress upon Mr. Reynolds. Uh, we're happy for today's pay rate to move into a, a, a contract that would kick off in 2018. So that really wouldn't cost the ratepayers any more money, would it? Um, you know, apart from operating costs going up and down, but with the price of fuel and whatnot. Yeah, look, we, we don't believe so. We believe that, that the ratepayers are already paying for this service. Um, with us being prepared to freeze our pay rates uh, until 2018, uh, we think it's a pretty good deal. Um, unfortunately, perhaps the powers that be don't. Mm, it's it's one of those ones where I'm sure a lot of people are waking and saying, "Oh, the bin wasn't emptied," and or this afternoon they'll come home and find the the bin not emptied and not have a clue, unless they're an ABC listener or someone who's reasonably uh, savvy to what's going on. But what would you like to say to the to the community in regards to strike action? Because I don't think you've taken strike action in the in the 12 years or so that I've been. Here, I'm, I'm. I'm pretty sure that you haven't. No, we we've had no industrial uh, problems for yeah. It would be over 12 years. I just got a truck going past here, guys. Um, but what I'd what I'd like to say to the residents, uh, just just leave your bins out. We will get back to work. We will get through this hiccup, and we will get out and we'll catch up on the work. We will pick them up. And I apologise to the residents for any inconvenience that we may have caused, uh, but we do feel strongly uh, that we shouldn't be subjected to a, a, a rate cut, a pay rate cut, uh, in the next uh, tender, the next contract. Sort of inconvenient for you as well, isn't it? Because you get behind, if you make that obligation, then you get behind and you've got to do extra work to, to catch up, but I guess it's in the point. Well, look, once we get back, we'll be out there for 13 hours a day until we do catch up. Uh, we'll work the maximum and we will get to everybody's bins. But uh, at the moment, 
um, we, we do have a bit of a problem here and we, we're desperately hoping that uh, Mr Reynolds and Mr Noble can uh, try and fix this problem. Do you think there'll be an e easy or early resolution or is more strike action possible? Uh, well, as I say, Scott, we're all up here out in front of the yard. We're ready to go. So if there is a, an early resolution, uh, we'll, be, we'll be straight back out there. But we do feel strongly um, and, and, you know, uh, we'll, we'll probably stay out for as long as it takes. And how can it be resolved? What... What does council need to? What does the Central Coast Council need to do? Well, if they if they're prepared to sit down, like I say, we presented uh, uh, Mr. Reynolds with a letter yesterday, which basically just that he, he would agree to our current pay rate in the new contract. Um, if, if they're prepared to sign that, uh, we're straight back to work. If they're prepared to sit down and negotiate a fair pay rate with with the boys, then we're also open to that as well. So we're not. You know, we're not staunch and stuck in the mud here. We're, we're you know, we're, we're happy to move if it's if it's a reasonable movement. And, and when do you think you'll be back to work? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I hope we're back to work today, Scott. All right. Well, another meeting coming up at, at eight thirty this morning with with Mr. Reynolds and uh, your company, Ramondas. So, uh, well, hopefully things can move forward. Thanks for joining us uh, from the. The fireside there at the picket line, Ian. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, Scott. No, love your show. You're doing a great job. No, thanks, mate. Thanks. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you my my place. If you could get our garbage, it would be, be good. All right, good to talk to you. Cheers, Scott. Thanks, Bye, mate. Thank you, Hankinson. There, there's a bit of a character and one of the, the local garbos, um, and uh, they've got a grievance at the moment.